Hey, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan, and I hope you lot are all doing well today watching this video, staying home, staying safe, and hopefully staying happy. Put that on a t-shirt, man. Welcome back to the channel. And this isn't really a Chelsea news video. I'm not going to call it a Chelsea news video because, yes, I'm going to be talking about a headline, a player being linked to Chelsea, but really, I want to talk about this player more in more detail, I guess, and what he could offer Frank Lampard's Chelsea, why he could be a really helpful addition, important addition, and affordable addition in what is a very difficult financial climate at the moment. Of course, you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, I'm talking about Atalanta's left back, left wing back, Robin Gosens. The perfect player for Frank Lampard, versatile, offensive, defensive, a good age, plug and play, not too young, not too old. Yes indeed, Gosens could be the player for Frank Lampard in Chelsea, and I'm going to tell you why in this video. But first, subscribe please. <laughs> Daily uploads here on Football Therapy, man. Yes, I will do other videos other than solely Chelsea videos eventually, although this channel will, of course, always be flooded with Chelsea Football Club content. I want to do the odd video that's a bit of everything, so expect that at some point. But at the moment, I'm uploading every single day, so please join the movement, come and subscribe, hit the bell notifications icon, help a brother out by liking this video as well. All right, mate, let's get on with it. So, in the modern day era of modern football, the fullback has changed. It's developed, it's evolved, it's become much, much more important in how successful modern teams operate. Just look at the likes of Liverpool. Trent Alexander-Arnold is actually their most creative and dangerous player in most, uh, in a lot of games, essentially. And he's a right back. He occupies the right back role, but he's playing more like key passes, creative passes. He's scoring goals. He's getting assists after assist after assist. And Andy Robertson on the left-hand side is not too much different. If your team can utilize fullbacks to their optimum potential, you can be an absolutely lethal and attacking modern football side. Like I said, it wasn't always like this. Good fullbacks back in the day, they didn't, they weren't required to do the kind of stuff they should or can do maybe now. I don't want to say should because it's really dependent on how your teams play, but if you utilize your fullbacks well enough, you're basically enhancing your offensive arsenal out there on the pitch. Now, this sentiment I'm talking about is something that Frank Lampard himself has echoed as Chelsea manager as a few times. He's often talking about how important fullbacks are in the modern game and how he wants his fullbacks to be a huge part of the way Chelsea Football Club play. Now, at right back, Chelsea is sorted. They have Reese James, very young, very talented, dynamic young fullback, can get up and down very, very well, has immaculate delivery, much like Trent Alexander Arnold. Uh, he's very strong, he's built very well. I'd argue he's probably a bit better defensively than Trent. Maybe not quite where Trent is offensively. Point being though, he's very, very young and Chelsea has sorted down the right hand flank for future years. Now, the left hand side is a little bit different as Piloqueta's moved over because the generic left back and left wing backs of Marcus Alonso and Emerson Palmieri have often left Chelsea disappointed. Of course, there was a time when Emerson Palmieri was combining down the left-hand side of Eden Hazard and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. In the latter stages of Sarri's Chelsea tenure, he looks very, very good. He looked like he could be the left-back to supercharge the left-hand side for Chelsea, but things have changed. And to be honest, no one's really offering this output that I've sort of been talking about in the beginning of this video about how much you can change the way you play. None of Chelsea's left backs can really do that. So it's the worst kept secret in football at the moment that Chelsea are in for a left back. It's been spoken about how Ben Chilwell has been Frank Lampard's maybe number one choice for a long time. It's also well known that Chelsea have been in negotiations with Porto to try and buy Alex Tellez for a cheap price or maybe just start the conversations up and get a, a proposed deal ready is what I'm trying to say. But a name that has been linked before and a name that has come up in the last couple of days again is Atalanta's Robin Gosens. Now I want to talk about this player because I have spoken about him before a little bit when he was initially linked and how he's a really exciting potential player to come in in that left back role and it's for a few reasons first off versatility Frank Lampard of course is a pragmatist and a manager that likes to swap 
formations dependent on who Chelsea are playing or who knows maybe switch even mid game if the I don't know the game's not going the way he wants so Frank Lampard does switch between a back three and a back four system and he will use a left back or a left wing back that's you know the re-emergence of Marcus Alonso really came from Frank Lampard using a back three system at times and when he did okay he's even played him as a generic left back but Gosens can do both. That's right, he can play left back, left wing back, even left mid in a 4-4-2. He can occupy all these spaces completely well. That's right, he has them all down. The ultimate versatile left hand player, and he's not necessarily a jack of all trades, no. He's actually very good defensively, and he is very good offensively, posting good numbers for key passes and you know stuff like that as well as in tackles and interceptions he's posting very respectable numbers indeed in one of Europe's top five leagues being Serie A. In the league this season Gosens has seven goals and five assists. That is a very handsome return indeed for a left back left wing back. So we all love people who can chip in with goals and assists but really it's how functional he is in that role that would make him such an important asset or potential acquisition for Chelsea Football Club. All right, Jan, sounds good, but tell me more about the player. Well, I will. He's not too young, yet he's not too old. He offers enough seniority at 25 years old and a plug and play option, but yet still younger than Alex Tellers. He's a German international and plays it for Atalanta, as you already know, in Syria, who are a very, very exciting and attacking footballing side, which would fit perfect for Frank Lampard's ethos and the way he wants to play football in the Premier League. It won't be like another youngster that he needs to sort of nurture into the game. Gosens is a professional, he's seasoned, yet he's still just entering his prime now. So it all sounds excellent. So... Is there a catch? Is he going to be loads of money? Well, apparently not. Again, this is all paper talk so far, but the reported fee at the moment that's emerged into the headlines is a mere £26 million. Pounds. What? Sounds crazy, right? I mean, Atalanta don't generate loads and loads of revenue. Sure, they've been in the Champions League and they suddenly find themselves at the top of the table these last couple of years in Italian football, but still, £26 million to them, maybe in the slow financial window that might seem pretty good for them with Porto playing hardball and trying to squeeze more money out of Alex Tellers who again is older you know scores goals as well but for me looking at Gosens if Frank Lampard is to continue a back three system and a back four system having a really good player entering his prime now that can comfortably play both positions like Robin seems like the perfect acquisition especially uh, someone who plays in a team that score a lot of goals they're very exciting like Atalanta and could be purchased for 26 million pounds to me from the surface that seems very very good I've watched him play a little bit from watching Atalanta seems very very good so on the surface of course this is early doors in terms of the news stories he's been linked to Chelsea in new stories but you know there's nothing overly concrete yet but if this does emerge more this could be a very exciting and feasible option for Chelsea and Frank Lampard and us Chelsea fans so I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated of how this story progresses of course it's over the headlines at the moment but you know if this gets more traction it's gonna be very exciting so I want to get your thoughts and opinions on this player have you watched much of Gosens do you think he is on the surface a really perfect candidate for Chelsea Football Club like I kind of do at the moment let me know your thoughts and opinions and get down in the comment section below and express yourselves on the left back slash left wing back a quick plug to you guys I'm obviously making daily videos here on football therapy every day through lockdown to keep you guys updated and informed with what's happening around football and media at the moment regarding Chelsea Football Club but if you are looking for more then why not go subscribe to Jan's Yard my second YouTube channel where I'm also uploading daily well I'm putting daily content on there I'm doing live streams every single evening of FIFA we're doing a career mode together me and the subscribers and the viewers we're building a team it's loads of fun but also I'm adding the additional upload on that channel as well just to have more content on there 
So, like I said, if you're looking for more content, do go subscribe to Yan's Yard. I will leave a link in the top of the description for you to go subscribe, please. Of course, if you've enjoyed this video today, guys, I would urge you to like the video. That means a lot. And if you haven't subbed to Football Therapy, what y'all doing, please do feel free also to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it for me, guys, on today's video. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the football that sadly is not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry, I don't. I let me be.